This is the Carbon Express Maxima Red, and it's a pretty awesome arrow, honestly, guys. <laughs> You've probably heard of it, maybe even have already shot it. It's pretty, you know, it's, it's out there. A lot of people use these pretty well. Every shop carries these. Uh, and these are just really good arrows. Like, I don't want to go too fanboy on them or anything like that, but these are definitely one of our best sellers. These are a very high-end arrow. Uh, the quality of the carbons is as good as it can get. It's as straight as they can get. So, I mean, we're talking very good quality stuff here. Now, finding an arrow that's right for you, that's the tricky part. I mean, in higher-end arrows, they're all going to be really good, you know, good shafts. So, it's just a matter of finding the arrow that suits you personally as a shooter. I mean, if you need something that, if you want your rig to be a little faster, you need a lighter arrow. If you want it to hit a little harder, you need a heavier arrow, that kind of thing. Um, just make sure to spine them correctly to your bow and set up and cut them correctly and then, then you're set. Everything outside of that is just sort of a matter of finding one you think looks good and feels good and will perform good. And uh, There's no arguing with it. Carbon Express makes arrows that'll do it. And uh, This Maxima Red, I mean, they, they've got a lot going for them. Now, first of all, just straight out of the gate, they look awesome. I, I love black and red. I, I've loved that color scheme. Uh, since the beginning, I've always really, I mean, I mean, I spray painted my first bow black and red when I was a little kid, and it's just, I think it looks awesome on anything, especially archery equipment. Now, Carbon Express, they're, they're pretty well known for, uh, using a lot of lingo to, to advertise their arrows. They've got a lot of manufacturer jargon, most of which is extremely confusing and just fancy ways of saying, you know, just this arrow straight and things like that. Now, that's not to say they don't come out with some stuff that's pretty innovative, and this arrow actually does have something pretty interesting going for it. Uh, now the subject of dynamic spine is actually kind of complicated, but the just... Uh, just the kind of a rundown of it so you know what this arrow does special is well, when you shoot a bow, that bow creates an immense amount of force and energy and the arrow's job is to take that force energy and uh, take the energy away from the bow safely and fly away. So when that happens, the arrow takes the hit and as it leaves the bow, that energy is making it flex and bend and wave. And I mean, it just if you look at it in slow motion, it's crazy how much it is actually flexing and bending. Those arrows take a mighty hard hit. Um, now on a normal arrow, they're spined the exact same from tip to tip. So if you have a lighter spine, it's going to take more flexing. Heavier spines, less flexing. I mean, it's just sort of how they work. Now this arrow is interesting because this red portion here it's not just it doesn't just look good it's actually got another function that is what they call the red zone and this entire middle section is actually spined uh, not as stiff as the rest of the arrow so this uh, these black portions are stiffer spined than the middle portion so this being not as stiff allows for all the flexing and bending uh, pretty well to be contained right here in the middle of the shaft thus leaving the tips you know just sort of going about their way, not flexing and changing their trajectory or anything. And that, that can really help close up gaps and uh, uh, it helps with consistency, especially with like fixed blade broadheads. It really can. I mean, if you take the flexing variable out of the equation, um, it can help. I mean, I've seen it in slow motion. I can't argue with it. Like, I mean, if you get online and look at slow motion comparisons between these and other arrows, like there's a pretty clear difference whether or not that's right for you. Now, that's, that's the tricky part. I mean, that's not something everybody needs. And like I said, there's a lot of other stuff Carbon Express talks about with these arrows. I will actually include a link in the description and check out their website. Uh, like I said, it's, that's the most important stuff, and uh, the rest of it, you can definitely look it over. It can be confusing, but that way you can just sort of get your eyes on it and read over it. But uh, it does come with a bulldog collar. That's another Carbon Express thing. I'm not a huge fan of these collars because uh, the rest I use, I use uh, hostages and containment rest and you know rest with brushes and that little snag can sort of burn them up a little quicker. But uh, I do have to say these work. The point of those is to help prevent the back of the arrow from getting you know hit and splintering and uh, breaking. And I have seen that with my own eyes. So those do save arrows sometimes. I have seen it. So uh, not for me, but they do what they're supposed to do. The knocks are pretty great. Those are Carbon Express as well. They call these launch pad knocks. Um, they're, they're really nice. I mean, as far as knocks go, you know, they add to the overall cosmetic and performance. So yeah can't knock them <laughs> i mean i just can't when we're talking about arrows that are made of this quality carbon it, it's impossible to say really anything bad about them i'm not really trying to advertise these i'm just trying to give you a, an up close personal look at them so you can kind of decide maybe if they're right for you or not uh yeah just check it out go check out uh carbon express's website and learn more and check out some reviews and if they're right for you awesome